this morning, my goal, since I'm new to this chapter, is to give you an introduction to Buccaneer marketing so you know what I do. And I want to explain to you, of course, my punchline, why internet marketing is much more than a fancy website. As you well know, the marketing and advertising industry is one that is undergoing a fundamental and dynamic change, and many business owners are trying to figure it out. The uh, more traditional forms of advertising are not bringing the ROI they used to. That doesn't mean they're obsolete, however. You may feel intimidated by the new era of internet marketing, but I want to help you get motivated, and that's what I feel my job is as here as a part of this uh, chapter. So let me break down internet marketing for you into three distinct categories that I feel that you as business owners need to concern yourselves with and focus on. And those are search engine optimization, social media, and what's up and coming is mobile marketing. So what is search engine optimization? Search engine optimization is basically an online popularity contest for content that is relevant to what was typed into the search engine search bar. And what is usually typed into the search engine search bar? It's usually location, city, town, or neighborhood, and category of business, like you see here. Chiropractors, Brandon, Florida, or Brandon Chiropractors. That's just an example. And here are some results that I have generated for some of my clients. What's typed into the Google search bar here is Raleigh POS systems. You can also type in Raleigh point of sale systems. I hail from the Raleigh area of North Carolina, so some of my first internet marketing clients came from there. And my client is in the number two, three, and four position in the organic search results on Google, highly coveted position, and uh, we got them there doing it the right way. And here's one of my favorite clients, Signature Specialty Contractors. If you Google Riverview Florida Sunrooms, these guys are absolutely dominating Google with an appropriate Google Place map listing in spot A. They're in spots three and four for a highly competitive niche in the Riverview area on the first page of Google. I couldn't even get it all on. This is, this is still page one of Google, but lower down the page, absolutely dominating with the uh, fifth, sixth, and seventh spot, and also down at the bottom with a video. How are we able to do this for our clients? It's because I know Google's mysterious and ever-changing algorithm. No, I, I don't. I, I don't. It's common sense. It's 20% the content that is on your site, and it's 80% off-site backlinks, or basically a credibility score. What is referring back to your site? All right. And this is where we defer from other search engine marketing and web, web marketing firms. We use keyword, thorough keyword research to find out where your customers are looking for you online, and they are. We pair those up with online videos and get those videos out to over 30 video hosting sites, thereby creating backlinks, that credibility score, that refer back to your site. I don't know of any other search engine optimization firm doing this, folks, but I know it works. All right. We transcribe your videos into articles and syndicate those out to multiple article sites and online press release sites, creating more backlinks that link back to your site, building up that credibility score, that 80% that of um, credit that Google and all search engines are giving you to bring up your site high in search results. Are we duping Google? No, absolutely not. We're not tricking Google or doing some black hat techniques. We know what Google wants. We're feeding the search engines with the content that they want. Does it really work? Well, does it really work? Why do you think I have David Seagal here this morning videotaping my presentation? I practice what I preach. It's grown my business tremendously in the very short time that I've been here.
Moving on to uh, social media. Do you believe in the value of word of mouth referrals? Of course you do. I do too, or we wouldn't be here this morning. Well, here's one of our newer customers' uh, Facebook page. This is absolutely optical at uh, International Plaza Mall here in Tampa. And uh, we set him up a Facebook page, and he's got a little incentive here, like us to see what's inside, and then his customers get um, a percentage off their first purchase of eyeglasses or contact lenses from his store. Ask Dr. J. Weil at International Plaza at Absolutely Optical if he believes in word of mouth marketing. Uh, social media is the new word of mouth, folks. You gotta get your business into social media. In the December issue of Entrepreneur Magazine, one of my favorite uh, magazines, maybe for some of you too, uh, Charlene Lee is quoted as saying, companies that do not get on the social media bandwagon within the next three to five years are not going to survive. More specifically, she said they're not going to be around in the next six to ten years to even do business. That's a bold statement, and it emphasizes why we all need to get on board uh, with social media. A little social media tip for your business. If, you are, if your primary customer is another business, you need to be focusing on LinkedIn. If, it's, uh, if your typical customer is a residential consumer, put more of your focus on Facebook. Okay, not exclusively, but I'm just telling you where to focus. And the biggest mistake I see on social media sites, people trying to sell their business across social media platforms. Social media platforms are for engaging in conversations, holding contests, uh, commenting on industry trends. Okay, that's, that's what social media is for. The newest up and coming thing that you need to concern yourselves with is mobile marketing. Citing a recent Tampa Bay Business Journal uh, statistic, mobile ad revenue is expected to reach $24 billion by 2015. It's going to be $11 billion this year. It's going to double in three years' time. What does this mean for your business? You need to be thinking about what you can do with text message marketing and QR codes. I know that's far beyond what you can possibly grasp at right now, but you need to be brainstorming and thinking about that Another thing that you can do right now is make sure that your website is easily readable on mobile devices. Okay, that's something Buccaneer Marketing can help you with. We can help you with both. So wrapping up this morning, we talked about three areas that you need to focus on as a business owner with regards to internet marketing, and it's search engine optimization, social media, and mobile marketing. What do they all have in common? Lead generation. And the thing about lead generation is it can help you determine return on investment. Make sure your internet marketer is worth what you're paying them. Another one of my clients, Vaughn's Jewelers in Wilson, North Carolina, a suburb of Raleigh, kind of like Brandon's a suburb of Tampa, a city of about 50,000. I've got them in the number one uh, spot there on Google with the map and the uh, number one and two organic spots as well. Here's what we do on the back end. We capture his leads. Mr. Vaughn gets about 10 leads per month, okay? He's got a list of 139 subscribers right now and it's growing. He's told me that each uh, prospect, or each lead that signs up has an approximate value of $1,000. He can convert 30% of them to sales in the first six months they sign up for his list. His list is worth $41,000. $700, Mr. Vaughn is very happy with his investment into our internet marketing service, services. He calls me every time he gets a sale. I love it because it pumps me up too. It's not set it and forget it. So easy, your kids can do it right there on Facebook. They're techies. Well, good luck with that. Personally, I've invested thousands of dollars, tons of time in software and expertise, working with clients to figure out what works and what doesn't. Good referrals for me, business owners and professional service providers that are looking to establish credibility 
and gather targeted leads. They must have a marketing budget and expect to begin seeing a return on investment within about 90 days. I'm Michael Whitehead of Buccaneer Marketing, and I hope you've learned why internet marketing is much more than a fancy website. Thank you.